The Air Force's stealthy F-22 Raptor fighter jet delivered some of the first strikes in the U.S. led attacks on the Islamic State in Iraq and Syria. When aerial bombing began in 2014, service officials told Scout Warrior. After delivering some of the first strikes in the U.S. coalition-led military action against ISIS, the F-22 began to shift its focus from an air dominance mission to one more focused on supporting attacks on the ground. An F-22 squadron led the first strike in war, Operation Adherent Resolve. The aircraft made historic contributions in the air-to-ground regime. Right double quotation mark. As a fifth-generation stealth fighter, the F-22 is specifically engineered for air supremacy and air dominance missions, meaning its radar evading technology is designed to elude and destroy enemy air defenses. The aircraft is also configured to function as the world's premier air-to-air -air fighter able to dogfight and readily destroy enemy aircraft. Air superiority, using stealth characteristics is our primary role. The air dominance mission is what we will always do first. Once we are comfortable operating in the battle space, our airmen are going to find ways to contribute, call. Larry Broadwell, the commander of the 1st Operations Group at Joint Base Langley's Eustis, Virginia, told Scout Warrior in a special pilot interview last year. The F-22's command and control sensors and avionics help other coalition aircraft identify and destroy targets. While some of the aircraft's technologies are not publicly discussable, Broadwell did say that the F-22's active and passive sensors allow it to function as an aerial quarterback allowing the mission to unfold. For example, drawing upon information from a ground command and control center or nearby surveillance plane, such as a joint surveillance and target attack radar system, the F-22 can receive information or target coordinates from nearby drones, Broadwell explained. At the moment, targeting information from drones is relayed from the ground station back up to an F-22. However, computer algorithms and technology is fast evolving such that aircraft like an F-22s will soon be able to quickly view drone video feeds in the cockpit without needing a ground station, and eventually be able to control nearby drones from the air. These developments were highlighted in a special Scout Warrior interview with Air Force Chief Scientist Greg Zacharias. Zacharias explained that fifth-generation fighters such as the F-35 and F-22 are quickly approaching an ability to command and control nearby drones from the air. This would allow unmanned systems to deliver payload, test enemy air defenses and potentially extend the reach of ISR assistance. Because of its sensors, the F-22 is uniquely able to improve the battlefield awareness, not just for airborne F-22s but the other platforms that are airborne as well, he said. The Raptor has an F-22-specific data link to share information with other F-22s and also has the ability to use a known data link called Link-16 which enables it to communicate with other aircraft in the coalition, Broadwell explained in an interview last year. Newer F-22s have a technology called Synthetic Aperture Radar, or SAR, which uses electromagnetic signals or pings to deliver a picture or rendering of the terrain below, allow for better target identification. The SAR technology sends a ping to the ground and then analyzes the return signal to calculate the contours, distance and characteristics of the ground below. The addition of SAR mapping has certainly enhanced our air-to-ground capability. Previously, we would have to take off with predetermined target coordinates. Now, we have an ability to more dynamically use the SAR to pinpoint a target while airborne, Broadwell added. The F-35 is needed because it is to global precision attack what the F-22 is to air superiority, he added. These two aircrafts were built to work together in concert. It is unfortunate that we have so few F-22s. We are going to ask the F-35 to contribute to the air superiority mission, he said. Overall, the Air Force operates somewhere between 80 and 100 F-22s. Dave Majumder of the National Interest writes that many would like to see more F-22s added to the Air Force arsenal. Story here. For instance, some members of Congress, such as former Rep. Randy Forbes, Republican Virginia, comma, have requested that more F-22s be built, given its technological superiority. Citing budget concerns, Air Force officials have said it is unlikely the service will want to build new F-22s. However it is possible the Trump administration could possibly want to change that. F-22 Technologies The F-22 is known for a range of technologies including an ability called Super Cruise which enables the fighter to reach speeds of Mach 1.5 without needing to turn on its afterburners. 
The F-22 engines produce more thrust than any current fighter engine. The combination of sleek aerodynamic design and increased thrust allows the F-22 to cruise its supersonic air speeds. Super Cruise greatly expands the F-22's operating envelope in both speed and range over current fighters, which must use fuel-consuming afterburner to operate at supersonic speeds, Broadwell explained. The fighter jet fires a 20mm cannon and has the ability to carry and fire all the air-to-air -air and air-to-ground weapons including precision-guided ground bombs, such joint direct attack munitions called the GBU-32 and GBU-39, Broadwell explained. In the air-to-air -air configuration the Raptor carries 6 AIM-120 Amrams and 2 AIM-9 Sidewinders, he added. The F-22 possesses a sophisticated sensor suite allowing the pilot to track, identify, shoot and kill air-to-air -air threats before being detected. Significant advances in cockpit design and sensor fusion improve the pilot's situational awareness, he said. It also uses what's called a radar warning receiver, a technology which uses an updatable database called Mission Data Files to recognize a wide range of enemy fighters, Broadwell said. Made by Lockheed Martin and Boeing, the F-22 uses two Pratt & Whitney F-119, PW, 100 turbofan engines with afterburners and two-dimensional thrust vectoring nozzles, an Air Force statement said. It is 16 feet tall, 62 feet long and weighs 43,340 pounds. Its maximum takeoff weight is 83,500. The aircraft was first introduced in December of 2005, and each plane costs $143 million, Air Force statements say. Its greatest asset is the ability to target attack and kill an enemy without the enemy ever being aware they are there, Broadwell added. The Air Force's stealthy F-22 Raptor fighter jet delivered some of the first strikes in U.S. led attacks on the Islamic State in Iraq and Syria, when aerial bombing began in 2014, service officials told Scout Warrior. After delivering some of the first strikes in U.S. Coalition-led military action against ISIS, the F-22 began to shift its focus from an air dominance mission to one more focused on supporting attacks on the ground. An F-22 squadron led the first strike in war, Operation Inherent Resolve. The aircraft made historic contributions in the air-to-ground regime. Even though ISIS does not have sophisticated air defenses or fighter jets of their own to challenge the F-22, there are still impactful ways in which the F-22 continues to greatly help the ongoing attacks, Broadwell said. There are no issues with the air superiority mission. That is the first thing they focus on. After that, they can transition to what they have been doing over the last several months and that has been figuring out innovative ways to contribute in the air-to-ground regime to support the coalition, Broadwell said.